I'm back today with another video. This is going to be my February favorites. I tried to film this video. I filmed this video earlier, but I really wasn't I really wasn't that happy with it and I guess I had a little too much coffee and it was like making me feel really weird and so I didn't want that to show up on camera. So let's jump ahead and get started. Um, the first thing that I'm going to talk about, the, the, the three categories that are, they, they all tie in together. So it's my favorite movie with my favorite person and then my, fav my current ringtone which was written by this person. So this movie, the first movie, because I have like three in here. Uh, this movie that I'm talking about is Modern Times with Charlie Chaplin. If you guys don't know who Charlie Chaplin is, he was a he was like a he was a silent movie actor, I believe, in like the 20s. To me, he's just the epitome of what Hollywood really was back in the day. He just was the most funniest person. Just uh, he was just really really funny. I, I love watching him because he was just, he was just so, he makes me laugh. And if you make me laugh, then that, you've pretty much won me over. And now I have like the biggest crush on him because he's just so funny. And when he did this movie, a lot of, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but like when he does his movies, he composes the music for the movie and he wrote which is my the ringtone in my which is the ringtone for my uh phone which is smile which is like one of my favorite songs ever he just wrote the music and then i believe in like the 30s somebody actually wrote the lyrics to it and if you've never heard the song it was michael jackson's favorite song it is the most beautiful song it's just such a beautiful 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 song i just never get tired of hearing it so it is played in this movie um every time the character uh which i will focus in on this woman who actually became charlie's uh wife paulette goddard who i think is absolutely stunning every time her character kind of shows up then they play it so i definitely would check him out check out smile and yeah check out modern times because it's so funny and yes it is a silent movie but once you get used to it then you'll you'll just appreciate it because this is where Hollywood came from so so yeah anyways that little lecture besides the lecture on Hollywood um, I'm gonna be talking about my second uh, movie this movie I used to watch as a kid and I love it all over again and this movie is called Stand By Me if you've never seen it definitely check it out it has River Phoenix, Will Wheaton, Corey Feldman, and Jerry O'Connell. This movie is just so funny and it has such a great story to it. It's about these four boys that go and they search for a dead body. Kiefer Sutherland is the villain and it's just such a great movie. Um, I remember when I was little I used to have a crush on uh, River Phoenix was right here and sadly he had he died at the age of 23 so so yeah so there's that my last favorite well it's not really a movie it's more of a TV show I used to have like pretty much all the seasons except for the last two on DVD but then I got rid of them years ago and then I was just like I was in the thrift store and I was like oh my god it's on sale I it's it was such a good price I couldn't beat it I couldn't pass it up so it's the One Tree Hill season four on DVD to me this is the best season because every episode is like a season finale it's just so good I just love it so much this is when they graduate high school and it's um and they find out who kills the Uncle Keith and everything. My favorite character, in case you guys are wondering, is Peyton. She is the beautiful blonde. She's the music lover, the loner. She's just a really cool chick. And she's in love with Lucas um, right here. So, And they finally end up together in this season. So if you haven't watched One Tree Hill Season 4 or just One Tree Hill in general, definitely check it out because it is the best show ever. I absolutely love that show. Um, on to 
Um, on to, I guess this is like, I don't know if I've talked about this product here on YouTube, but I finished it today, so I thought I'd mention it. These are uh, what are called toothy tabs from Lush. And what these are is they look like little candies. And you put them in your mouth, you crunch them up, and then you don't really need toothpaste, but I brush my teeth with, with toothpaste. And these are really good. These really, really do a good job of cleaning your teeth. Um, I've read on Lush's website that people said that it like gets rid of cavities. It's that good. And um, a really affordable $5. So if you're looking for something that's really good to clean your teeth, um, I would definitely check these out. These do not have fluoride in them. That's why I mix them with my toothpaste. So there's that. So I have one product that it's the same product. So one I like and one I dislike. And these are, oh my God, I'm so excited. This made my day when I found these. These are the e.l.f. smudge pots. And if you're looking for something, if you're a big fan of the Maybelline color tattoos like I am, you will definitely love this product because it's just like that. It, it They don't smudge. They look really nice. You don't need primer. This is in the color Cruisin' Chic. So this is just like a taupe, everyday color. And I really, really love these. I found these at Kmart. These were three bucks. And I had to get all, they only had three of them. And I was like, oh my God, I had to have these. So I have this one, I think I have brownie points, which I like too. That's more like a dark brown, brownish goldish color. And then I got this one. This one was called Ain't That Sweet. And I really wanted to like this product so much, but it's just so like chalky and I don't like the way that it applies. I don't like the way that it looks. And I was just really, really, really disappointed in it. So if you're going to try one of these, I definitely would check like either get brownie points or I would get um, Cruise and Chic because you won't be disappointed in these. And these are like three bucks at like Kmart or on the website or whatever. Um, the next thing that I like is the Wet n Wild Wild Shine Nail Color. Um, this is a new nail polish and this is in the color black. These were only 99 cents and I am a big fan of Wet n Wild nail polish. I like, I have like, I think pretty much all of the other bottles. I've mentioned them here on YouTube before. And so I was like, I wanted to try these and I tried one and I love it. So I ended up getting like two other bottles. So there's that. The next item that I like is this. I guess it's like a quad and this is by Fergie from Wet n Wild and this is called the Wet n Wild Fergie Center Stage Collection Photo Focus Eyeshadows and so I got this because I really love the eyeshadows. I thought they were just really cool. I thought that it would look really pretty with the gold and then like with these greens but the goal is just not that pigmented. Maybe I need to use like a primer. I think I maybe tried it with one of my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils, but I'm still going to be playing with it. But I love this green up top. This is what really attracted me to it was this green right here. Mixed with that, it looks so, so, so pretty. So, and this is only $5. So if you want a really nice um, if you're a big fan of greens or whatever, then I would definitely check this out. Um, another product from e.l.f. I like this product a lot, but there's one part of it that I really don't like. Maybe I got a bad one. This one is the e.l.f. matte lip color in the color Rich Red. And so, you know, I'm a big fan of the matte lip colors. This is what it looks like swatched. But... I just, I've only, I only have used it a few times and sometimes when I apply it, it's just, it doesn't, it comes out like that. And I just, I really don't like that. It just, I wish that it would just stay like that, but maybe I just got a bad one. But overall, I really love this product. It stays a long time. It looks really nice and doesn't bleed. So, so there's that one. And then... Oh my god, I love these so much. I had to go back today. I think there's six of these, and I have two, and I think I got three more. Um, the other one I did not get. Um, so these are the Fergie 
Wet n Wild on the Edge Long Wear Eye Pencils. I got this in the color Hyper Sky. So they look like this. So these are just eyeliners. And I absolutely love these. These are so, so, so creamy and so nice. They look really good on. So I'm going to swatch this one. This one, how beautiful is that color right there? It's just, it's so beautiful. I went back every single color I have except for the white one. I mean, why am I going to put white there? It's just, I don't know. It just is a little weird to me, but. And then this is the other one that I got. I'm wearing it today right here. You guys can notice this is in the color ecstasy which what which is Fergie's name if you guys didn't know that so it's right there and I really really love these um they're just so creamy and just go on so well and these are like 350 and so that is pretty much like my thing when I'm looking for makeup like I tend to either I really for me, I love Elf. I love Wet n Wild. I sometimes will go into like Maybelline and stuff, but I really tend to stick to Elf and Wet n Wild because I've tested a lot of their products. I, I tr trust so many of their products, so that's why I always feature them on YouTube because those are the ones I wear the most. So there's that. I have one food favorite for the month um i just got these like last week and i absolutely love these these are these super nutty post great granola grand granola and these are like 350 i think and these are just really 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 good so and it's granola plus it has nuts in it and i really love to take granola and put it in my yogurt for breakfast so there's that and then the last thing, I cannot do a favorites video without mentioning a perfume. So I was going through my perfumes and like deciding which ones to wear. And I pulled out this one yesterday and my coworker liked it on me. And so I decided to wear it again. And I don't know if I've ever mentioned this here on YouTube, but this is a really nice perfume. This is by Britney Spears. This is Circus. And so this is what this bottle looks like and i really really like it it's got like a really clean really clean scent to it um again it's really affordable you can get it on ebay you can get it on amazon cvs for really really good prices and that's how i like things very affordable but just really good quality so so yeah and as always i will all, i'm gonna put the notes right up here so you guys can definitely check it out so yeah guys that is my video thank you guys so much for watching have yourself a great day and don't forget to subscribe bye